Hey guys, so one of my favorite and also most look forward to beans from Counterculture is their annual release of their field trip. And as I'm brewing the last bit of beans that I have left from this year's field trip, I want to discuss a not so often discussed topic with you guys, which is the potato taste defect. All right, so as the name implies, PDD will make your beans taste like a spoiled wet potato. While it's not the worst taste out there, it is certainly not desirable in your latte or pour over. The beans that are affected by the PTD comes from Rwanda, West Uganda, Burundi, and also Democratic Republic of Congo. So if you are buying beans from these regions, for example, this year's field trip, which is 34% Rwanda, or if you have came across this strange taste and you have no idea why, I am making this video here for you. First of all, something you gotta understand about the PDD is that it's actually a very rare occurrence. It does not affect the entire crop, nor does it even affect that particular tree. It is isolated to only that one coffee cherry that is affected. Based on a number provided by Counterculture, there are typically one single PTD affected seed per every 3.3 pounds of coffee. So therefore, if you're purchasing your typical 12 ounce bag of coffee, the chance of your bag getting affected is actually quite small. However, if you're roasting your own beans at home, or if you're purchasing large batches of coffee, then you might come across this more often. So it's definitely something that you want to keep in mind. The origin of PTD is actually something that is still being researched upon. The taste itself comes from a chemical compound called IPMP, which is from a family of chemicals called parazines. But when it comes to coffee, it is thought to be introduced to the cherries by a stink bug called the Antestia. So the theory is that while the Antestia bug feeds off the cherry, the chemical is introduced to the fruit via the broken skin. However, this is not conclusive. So PDD is actually also very interesting in the sense that it will not reveal itself until the bean is actually roasted. And it's even more noticeable once it's grounded. And therefore, it's almost impossible to isolate these beans on the harvest stage, especially given the fact that they look identical to normal healthy beans. But you can at least rest assured knowing that these beans are actually perfectly fine to consume. So there are no reason to avoid beans from these particularly affected regions, given how delicious the beans produced by these regions are. So the next obvious question for us at home will be, what can we do to try to avoid these PTD affected beans? So there are a couple easy steps that I take at home. First, whenever you are buying beans from these regions, when you first open them, you can simply go ahead and give them a sniff. Sometimes the potato smell is very apparent and if you smell that, then you will know that at least one of your beans from this bag are affected by PTD. However, that does not mean your entire bag is bad as the smell are not transferable. Remember, it's isolated to that one particular bean. Next, whether or not you initially detected the smell when you first opened your bag, it's still good to grind your coffee in small batches when you're actually making your drink. And essentially smell those batches right after you grind them. And like I said before, the PDD smell is the most prominent once the coffee beans are ground. Now for my own personal preference, I usually grind about 10 grams at a time. And if that little batch does smell like potato, you can either A, toss them out, or B, keep them for practices. That is obviously assuming that you don't want to drink them. Also, if possible, it is recommended that you perch out your grinder with beans from a non-affected region just to ensure that there are no remaining affected beans left in the grinder. And that is pretty much it. Doing those two simple steps will help eliminate the PDD affected beans from your cup of drink. All right guys, so I didn't really find much videos uh, discussing this topic, so I decided to go ahead and share this video with you guys. Hopefully you found it to be helpful. Now I'll also go ahead and leave the counterculture page in case if you want to read up more about the potato taste effect. And as always, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe to our channel and of course follow us on Instagram. Now until next video, cheers!